Good morning, folks. The human race just got lucky again. For those who haven't watched us track solar activity to the planetary position since 2011, there is a lot of formal study on the topic in addition to the correlations you can observe day in and day out here with the rest of us. Literally dozens of such papers that together include all of the planets, including a recent one we actually mentioned on Fly on the Wall yesterday. In both the morning news of late and in deeper look episodes from days before that, we had looked forward to this time as two inner heliospheric alignments come together with Earth, Venus, Mars in a line, and more importantly, Mercury and Venus straddling the Sun, one of the top two most important solar uptick signals there is. Here's where we got lucky. Massive solar eruption has occurred on the back side of our star, facing away from Earth. This is one of the largest CMEs we have seen in years, and within the CME bulb you can see highly dense filaments of plasma. The Cactus CME tracking has velocity readings maxed out as high as they can go, around 4 million miles per hour or about 2,000 kilometers per second. Folks, that's kill shot speed. Just like the July 2012 eruption that could have sent Earth back to the Stone Age, the initial data on this eruption suggests we got lucky again. Even from the opposite side of the Sun, it is still energizing and disrupting interplanetary magnetic fields to the point that Earth is receiving high-energy proton radiation at the polar regions. I repeat, the speed and size of this CME suggest it was a Carrington-level event. And that's before you consider how dense some of those plasma streams must be within the expanding cloud. Now, despite some stellar violence, the Earth-facing solar quiet continues. No solar flaring and no real sunspots to take up the habit. These are magnetically benign at the moment. And despite the lack of flaring, we did get a tiny eruption on the Earth-facing side of the star. A small filament destabilized and snapped, releasing a small CME. Even with the ejecta this likely produced, however, it is of minuscule size and appears to have released north away from the planetary orbital planes. We never saw a solar wind speed ramp last night, so today we should see the coronal hole stream, but will probably be weaker than expected. Right now, the solar wind and Earth's magnetic shield are quite calm. Meanwhile, the central coronal hole has begun to depart the disk after being so kind as to cap off that earthquake uptick. It opens the door for the next coronal hole, negative polarity, cresting over the limb now with some pretty solid force. By tomorrow, as Earth is in the positive coronal hole stream, near-Earth influence from IMF should be shifting to negative. Back at Earth, that Japan rumble and swarm still has these boys in event mode, all tiny little jolts only. If we get geomagnetic activity from a coronal hole stream today, an Uyen ramp of this Indian Ocean system should occur immediately. Over in the United States and Canada, the power low at the east coast is drawing one heck of a convergence to the south, bringing heat and moisture up the coastline and sending another arctic blast down into the states. The brief warm-up is almost done trekking the continent and then we're back to just being brutally cold. The snow and low temperature records are going to keep falling. In Europe, the North Atlantic low is the strongest low on the northern hemisphere of Earth right now, and the storm surge at the Convergence Line paired up with the new moon supertide and created some pretty bad flooding in the areas here. There is also a low just to the east on land, and then there's another one down near the Mediterranean. Tonight's weather alerts follow those three lows and their Convergence Lines. Down under, we see tropical moisture heading right at the northern coastlines. The cyclone remnants begin to head offshore to the east, and combine that with a weak convergence in the south and southeast, and we've got warnings pretty much all over the place. Wonder if New Zealand was getting bored. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. Exhale, my friend. The sun spared us again. 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.